Thousands of Texans die from cancer every year. One lawmaker says we can lower that number. He points to overwhelming evidence that giving boys and girls the HPV vaccine at 11 or 12 years old will help prevent the human papilloma virus from spreading. HPV can cause several different types of cancers, and KXAN's Phil Prazen explains how a new bill could help save lives in the future. Busy day here today. On her first day at the clinic for medical school, Dr. Deborah Pat saw a woman dying from cervical cancer. Time went by 20 years later, and not much has changed. And you know, I'll tell you, I've seen young women die of head and neck cancer that is HPV related. And, and think to myself, this is a preventable disease. She says her files of patients with cervical, anal, head and neck cancer could have been stopped with a shot already available. It's frustrating because I think, you know, we need to make progress in cancer. So when we have made progress in cancer and it's not implemented effectively, it is a, it's a real challenge. Simply put. A bill by Representative John Zerwas hopes to educate and improve availability of the HPV vaccine. He laid out the idea to the House Public Health Committee. Because the science is, is pretty much done here. CPRIT, the health department, and health care professionals would give recommendations to the governor in the hopes of creating state policy to encourage people to get shots. Well, to heighten awareness. Dr. Pat says most of the battle comes down to parent awareness. While parents have every right to decide what is right medically for their children, um, most parents are going to want their children not to have cancer. And children that someday as adults could have lower death rates. Phil Prazen, KXAN News. The work group this bill would create would give their recommendations to the governor for the next session. So in two years, Representative Zerweis says this bill will not cost any extra money. No one has testified against this bill so far. HPV is the most common sexually transmitted infection in the United States. More than half of the sexually active people will have the virus sometime in their lives. It can also be deadly. Nearly 10,000 people died of HPV-related cancers last year. According to the Texas Medical Association, Americans are falling behind when it comes to taking the HPV vaccine. Right now, only 32 percent of Americans have received the vaccine. By comparison, 84% are vaccinated in the UK, 81% in Portugal, and 75% in Australia. Despite those numbers, former Governor Rick Perry admitted it was a mistake to order Texas girls to get the HPV vaccine back in 2007. Back then, the order outraged many Republicans. Some thought it would encourage promiscuity. In the end, the order was dropped. During Perry's run for president in 2011, he said, he should have gone through the legislature before trying to force the order.